Vendors like Nomad Distillery have turned to the Lewisburg Farmer's Market while sales at their brick and mortar locations have suffered because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, once all the pandemic happened, um, festivals was our main thing. We also have a brick and mortar, but in order to be able to survive as a business, um, markets was our next thing um, to try and accrue some sort of profit. The market was busy Wednesday morning as customers looked over produce and other items for sale from vendors. Uh, yeah, I'd say we got a normal crowd today, maybe just a tiny bit less than normal. Uh, some days the parking lots are completely packed. Today it's, there's a few parking spots, but yeah, and good you think, day. You think it's people are day. still comfortable with coming out to, to the market, be it open air or, you know, or indoors um, in the pandemic? I think we see that by the walk through the parking lot. You know, it's a full parking lot. People are here loving life and enjoying their time, getting healthy foods. So I would yeah. think that they feel comfortable. That's what we've seen uh, really ever since the counties moved away from the red phase. At that point, it seemed like a switch was flipped. Out. I feel I feel comfortable being outside. Uh, personally, myself, I have trouble breathing with a mask on. I have a mask. If I'm made to wear one, I do. And not basically, for me, it's for other people because I'm pretty resilient. I don't usually get anything, and I don't think it's gonna happen it's to me. Um, and we just are following the guidelines, obviously, to operate as business. Um, they've put in certain rules so we have to follow them in order to this is our livelihood so we're just going to follow the rules and play it like that. We've put some uh, sanitary stations at the doorways uh, for people to sanitize their hands as they come in and then we also put some signs on that we recommend or require you to wear some face masks as you're in the farmer's market. It's a very hard thing to police. Uh, really nobody wants to hear you have to wear a face mask when you walk into a building, and they don't. Have you heard uh, from any customers who've expressed like, concerns about a lack of social distancing? Or yes, we've had that concern to a minimal degree. I would say that we have had more people who expressed thankfulness of being able to continue to come out to the place they love. Um, I guess my, my thinking is, though, I don't want this forever. I don't want to wear a mask forever. I don't want to be like China where you see it all the time with the smog and stuff. So I just, I, basically I just like to be free to do what I want. I mean, but I don't have any issue with anybody who wants to wear them and I don't have any issue basically with anybody who does not want to wear them. But.